Hello to you all. I want you to teach you something. So, this is all about finding the der derivative sequence. So, I am John Steven Silva from B BSCP 1103. So, yeah, let's begin. So, this is what we need to solve. So, we need to find the derivative of it. So, as we see here, we need to find x to the second plus 2 plus 3. So, yeah, let's begin. And it will turn like this. Now you're wondering why there's a d and the x. So, that means is differentiate, differentiate in the respect of x. So, it's a rule that we need to follow to see the solution of it. So, d and dx and x to the second plus 2 plus 3 so we need to find the answer in that so it will turn like this like that we need to draw a line yes so let's start by drawing a number of line to end the number using a number start from zero as you can see here so the first number is position so let's move the point to places to the right so we need to do that because it's it's positive yes the positive is always right so zero one two and our second number is positive so we move so we need to move the point three place to the right so why we need to do that because the three is positive so one two three and wait the answer of this question is five as you can see here it's five yes so you're wondering why you need Okay, so I will give you a simplified answer to how to answer this. It's this. 2 plus 3. As we can see here, this, we need to remove the x, you know, because that thing is not included. And because, you know, the x is different to rule in that. But the, only, the simplified version of this is 2 plus 3 equals to 5 so yeah it's 5 you know that's it yes that's it and yes it turned like this you can see in here there's a 5 as we as we did in here you can see as you can see so you're wondering what is the next step so we need to do a differentiate rule it written like this I know the confusion as I do because I don't know that because I, I have a habit of skipping things so you know let's proceed on skipping you know now you're wondering how you get that get the things what I did is here and these two that what that called um digits digits i guess so let's go in that this two i just put it in half like you know like this and the and the fraction i just put in there and and by number i just add this the dx thing so it will turn like this d and dx x to the second plus d and dx to 5 so we need to find the solution in that so let's begin we need to solve it finally you know so yes let's begin solving solving these things 
so as we can see here it will turn like this like 2 2 plus x and t and dx and 5 so what's the next thing we need to do is to cancel it yes we need to cancel it why because the derivative of constant is zero because a constant function doesn't change values so it makes some sense that its derivative equals to zero so yeah so next is we need to do this rule so i don't know that i don't know that what that thing called you know as i said as i said lately i like scripting things so what we need to do is in scripting we always focus on this and then so this thing always do in value is to subtract to one so how does thing works how is that thing works so imagine the value of x is one and we need to minus it to one so so the answer of this is x as always so what let's proceed to solve this so we need to start rewriting the subtraction as an additional problem to do this let's rewrite let's copy over the two so we get these two we get it from here to the value of x so as we can see two minus one equals like that because we don't know so the way to solve this is two minus one and we need to start by rewriting this some things and subtract as an additional problem to do that let's copy the number of two so copy this turn this and this and we put the number of two in here just just ignore that equal that equal sign you know so and we need we need to rewrite the we need to rewrite the value this fraction as an addition so change the minus sign to the plus so like that so it's a plus now now let's proceed to next step so we need to write the opposite of one after the plus sign so we need to do is this one put in here but we need to do opposite of this this is a positive one so we will do it we will do it like um negative because you know it's an opposite and we put this thing i forgot that code wait. and we put some brackets in it so there's a reason in that so why do we do we need to put some brackets in it because you know we change this positive to the negative so it's easy to know so yeah let's solve this thing so two minus one equals to one that's the answer one so 
you want some simplified things you want to simplify this so yeah yeah um guess we get the value of it and just minus it 2 minus 1 equals to 1 galing no galing so dal uh it will look like this like that no equal and it and that thing will become like this 2x so you're wondering how it become 2x where's the one where the one came from when the when when the number when did the number one went so you know in mathematics school we know that the x is value one it equals to one so the one that we get here as a solution of this in the past to come here it will become x because let's say one it equals to one it becomes like that so this this value is one you know this and then And then the you know this thing will become zero as you can see here. So we will do some we will solve it, you know, the derivative. So two x the zero equals to two x. So yeah, that's the answer. As you can see here, that's the answer of it, and it will look like this the solution, like that. Yeah, like that. So, yeah. It will look like that, and yeah, I hope you learned something from me. And bye.